getting attention, but real woman won't respect. She been bad niggas side way before the check. I'm thankful for them difficult times, but we had to grow. So you know it's LV, Gucci 2, and Pelly Coats. The best feeling is to be loved. What's up, y'all? This is are back with another video, you guys. So, um, today I am going to be making homemade banana pudding cake. So, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Click the bell to be notified when I drop the video. Um, I was called out by Tyrese Ty. Get it? He, he called me out to do the homemade banana pudding cake. So what you would need, you guys, of course, you're going to need a mixing bowl. You're going to need some milk. Already greased my uh, pan. You can use, I'm using this pan today. Already greased my pan and floured it down. So I already put it in my oven to so 350, you guys. You would need some vanilla extract. Of course, uh, some regular, some regular butter. I was trying to have it at room temperature, but you know, it is what it is. I had to put it in the microwave anyway. So, you would need some cool whip. I got that a little bit softer. Bananas. So, if you guessed it down in the comments down below, congratulations. You, you got, you ain't win nothing, but congratulations on guessing what I was making. You're gonna need some sweet condensed milk. You will need some eggs. You will need the instant vanilla jello pudding mix. I got vanilla, I got two boxes. You will also need your choice is either white cake or yellow cake mix. I chose the uh, yellow cake mix. So you need that. You also need another bowl to mash the bananas up. And last but not least, you would need the vanilla wafers. So let's get started, guys. Um, my hands are washed. Uh, I wash my hands and all that, you know. So make sure your hands are washable and clean. Let's get to it. So, this is what the cake is looking like. I had to poke a hole through it because to make sure it was done, you know. So, we're going to poke holes in it so the pudding could go in there and sit inside up. So, just watch me and let's, let's get back to the video. This is the pudding right here. Okay. So, poke holes, get your fork, start poking holes in it. Because we got to... um. Put the pudding in there. So we go do like this. Oh, I should have. Matter of fact, I'm gonna use the end part. We go put some holes in there. Just put a little bit of holes in there, cause the pudding go go inside there. Make little circles. I gotta hurry up with the video because Donovan want to play music, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. <sighs> okay, so I'm just putting holes in it. So the pudding can soak, can soak inside the cake. I should have got a spoon and did it like that. Okay. So, got that. Next, we is, let me move this out the way. Slide that over there. Next, we're going to use the pudding cake. We're going to put the uh, whipped cream in here. I had to put it back in the freezer because it was melting. You want all that in there. So 
So we're gonna mix that together. Fold that in like this. I'm gonna show y'all how it's looking. Fold it. Fold it. Keep folding. Cause I'm gonna mix it around. I don't feel like folding. I'm being lazy today, y'all. So. Got the whipped cream mixed all in. So that is what it's looking like. Y'all see that? Ooh. I almost went down. Okay. Next. I'm always making too much put on um, putting. Don't even eat it. Next, pour this over. I'm gonna do like, like a two layer. Okay, spread it. Spread it on the hose like this. Now, this is my first time making this, y'all. So. I was called out by a challenge to do this. So I'm just spreading it. <clears throat> and you want to let your cake cool down before you put the uh, pudding mix on top. So, okay, I'm going to let y'all see how I look right now. Okay, so, do it like this so I can stick in. I'm going to show y'all what I got so far. So, this is what I got so far. Now, we're about to layer it up. Okay. Okay, next, you're going to get your bananas. So, you're going to put the bananas on. Put the bananas on. And then, if you have some lemon juice, you could have put, sprinkle a little bit on top of your bananas. So the bananas won't rot, be brown. Sorry, I said rot. <laughs> Y'all know what I was trying to say. Shoot. Okay. So I'm just putting the bananas on. Everybody don't like bananas, so I'm not going to use a lot of bananas. So... Put that on there like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So get so put these out. Okay. Put the cookie ball. Thank you. 
Atlanta, on the on cookies. Over here, cookie over there, cookie right there, huh. cookie right there. Y'all get the model, all the cookies on there. Spraying it up. Oh, it's falling out the sides. Add it on the sides. No more pudding can't go on top. I should have got a deep, deeper dish. Deeper pan, I mean. Okay. Let's see. And more cookies on top. And this will be it for this video. So, there you go, Tyrese. I hope you enjoyed this video I did for you. I told you I was going to keep my word. And you challenged me to do this cake. This is my first time making it. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And like. Oops, like, share, and subscribe. And I'm going to show y'all the finishing product. Hold on. I'm just adding the cookies on. And I'm gonna say some of the sprinkles, so uh, the crumbs on top, and then have maybe Chris Chris or Donovan do a taste test afterwards when they cool and chill in the refrigerator.
So this is it. I'm gonna show y'all. This is the banana pudding cake. This is it. Thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.